everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope that you guys are enjoying your morning thus far and we're going to be looking at what is happening across the North Atlantic. So we'll be talking about the forecast for today in terms of the rainfall and the wind. We'll also be looking at the Climate Prediction Center's updated forecast for the next two weeks and the Saharan dust, some islands of the Southeast Caribbean have been experiencing that in recent days. And also that next front, which is expected and the cool down, which is likely to follow it. So let's get straight into it. Looking at the infrared satellites here, we can see this flow of convection out of the Eastern Pacific through Mexico and the Gulf and then that dip. So that is due to uh, the winds higher up in the atmosphere. So, so these upper level winds are influencing all of this activity, which can be seen if we should take a look at that map right now. This is from GFS. There we can see it and those arrows as well showing the direction to which the wind is blowing. So winds coming from the southwest blowing to the northeast and then we can see that dip and going back to the satellite we're definitely seeing that happening. So uh, looking at the Caribbean though we can see that it's pretty much vacant of any convection right now but uh, for northern South America we can see that that's not the case. There's more activity there especially in Colombia and just offshore of Panama. So let's zoom into the Caribbean. We can see that there's a couple of patches of cloud moving through, may bring some stray showers as we head through today. And that is pretty much what is expected for the most part across the islands. Although there may be some moderate or even heavy downpour that moves by, but as for anything substantial, that is not really expected across the Caribbean islands right now. And we're seeing that as we look at the rainfall forecast. So as it gets more colorful, that is certainly indicating a lot more rain so with those shades of those purples we're going over around two and a half up to three and with those shades of pinks going up to three and a half four inches of rainfall and that is seen in the vicinity of colombia as i've been saying that area has been quite active with a lot of rainfall and uh, that is the intertropical convergence zone by the way that stretches through that is what helps to induce much of the rainfall across south america so it's basically where the trade winds of the north and the south meet when they converge it's warm moist air so it rises cools and condenses to form clouds and eventually when the clouds get saturated there is rainfall so that's basically what's happening along the intertropical convergence zone at times now uh, we can see that again across much of northern south america especially northwestern south america colombia going toward parts of venezuela some decent rainfall is possible things may be a bit drier for guyana but going towards so renowned french Guiana, we're seeing that uh, more of those colorful shades are there those darker greens and those yellows even those oranges popping up as well so there may be up to around a half an inch of rainfall or so and then as we head to the Caribbean islands, Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, the Grenadines, it is unlikely that there is going to be any substantial rainfall at all as we head through today. ABC islands, some rainfall activity may pass through, but nothing much. And again, these southeast islands, they're dealing with the Saharan dust as we head toward the islands of St. Vincent, going towards St. Lucia, Martinique, even for Barbados, those may be the islands with a higher chance of rainfall today. Not a guarantee that there will be rainfall, especially for everyone, but the higher chance is there for those islands. We're seeing more of those green shadings as some showers may move through. Looking towards Dominica, Guadeloupe, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Seba, St. Eustatius, St. Martin, St. Bartholomew, Anguilla, and also toward Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, most of Hispaniola, the southern Bahamas, the Turks and Caicos Islands. Much rainfall today is unlikely, so it's likely to be dry for the most part. Some showers may move through portions of Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, also toward Cuba, uh, through the central and north through the central and northwestern Bahamas and as we head over into parts of Central America, especially going towards the uh, Yucatan Peninsula, we can see some of these more colorful shadings there. So there may be some decent downpours today and also as we head through to Costa Rica and Panama, also seeing that the area is colorful but elsewhere, not expected to receive much rainfall as we head through today. In terms of the winds, winds have certainly been uh, diminishing for the past couple of days compared to what it was. So they are a bit stronger off the coast of Colombia, but across much of the Caribbean islands, it's going to be a tranquil day today in terms of the 
wind. Now, here is the look at the Saharan earlier forecast for this morning, 8 a.m. There we can see it. And the darker the shade of brown is that is indicating denser areas of that Saharan dust. So it is made up of dust, dirt, and other particles that travel all the way from Africa and is carried to the west by the trade wind. So we can see that it's blanketed in portions of the uh, South Caribbean and Northern South America as well. So the Lesser Antilles going from around Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, the ABC Islands, and also across parts of Venezuela, Northern Colombia, even stretching as far as Panama. But as we're going to be heading into later this week, especially this weekend, that massive dust is expected to dissipate. So it's not going to be around for a very, very long time. But it is certainly something that we want to talk more about in the future. Now we're heading on to the latest forecast from the Climate Prediction Center and finally we'll be looking at that expected cool down that will follow a front that will move through. So we're looking at the Global Tropics Hazards Outlook map and we're focusing on the Atlantic. Now we can see that for week two, which is from the 3rd of January to the 9th, there are these different shades of browns, yellows, greens. So those green shadings represent the chance of above average rainfall and the darker it is, the higher the chance. So we can see that there is around a 50% chance of increased rainfall activity for portions of the southeastern U.S. Not seen much being highlighted for the Caribbean. However, there is that brown shading and the yellow as well across parts of uh, South America. So the yellow shading represents that chance of above average temperatures. So around a 50% chance or less of above average temperatures. And the brown shadings, they represent below average rainfall. So things are likely to be drier for the Guyana's parts of Venezuela. Even going over into Colombia, there will likely be below average rainfall activity within this time frame here and above average rainfall for much of Brazil. And then finally, we're looking at this map, not from your typical perspective, but it is the temperature anomaly map. And the blue shadings represent below average temperatures, which means things are going to be cooler for those areas. Now, as we head toward Friday of this week, the 29th of December, there we can see all of those cooler temperatures expected across much of the southern states of the U.S. going into the Gulf and even into parts of Central America and Cuba, potentially even the northwestern Bahamas as well. So that is going to follow a front that will be exiting the U.S. And then as we head toward Sunday, the 31st, final day of the year, we can see that it stretches a bit further into the Caribbean. Now, areas such as Jamaica may feel impacts, but then eventually as we head into the New Year, Monday, the 1st of January, we can see that much of the cooler air has dissipated by that time. And that's going to sort of be the pattern that we see for a while. Uh, the Euro model is in agreement with this. This is as we head into Sunday, the 31st. We can see these blue shadings representing that things are going to be cooler. And then as we head toward Wednesday, the 3rd of January, we're still seeing that massive cool air lingering around. So Euro showing that it may loiter around a little bit longer compared to what the GFS is forecasting, guys. But that front is going to be moving through later this week. Uh, into the weekend and with the passage of the front there are those uh, winds coming from the north or the northeast which result in those cooler temperatures that massive cool air dip in into portions of the caribbean there's also those rougher seas and also increased rainfall activity but that's not always the case with these fronts that move through the stronger fronts have the better potential to influence the weather even more but of course i'll be keeping you guys posted on all that is happening this video has been quite lengthy but i hope you found it to be quite informative and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i can and remember to always be weather wise